What's up everybody? My name is Ian and today we are going to do yet another leak code problem. Before we get started, I want to start a new segment on this channel called the Wildlife Wild Fact. And today our focus is on orangutans. Found in Indonesia on only three different islands, orangutans are losing their habitat every year due to deforestation and the palm oil industry. And what's crazy is that these amazing animals share 96.4% of their DNA with humans. So they're basically our cousins. To learn more about orangutans and see how you might be able to help, check out the links in the description below. I'm drinking coffee out of my next favorite mug. Let's go. Mm, that was really hot. So today, we are going to do question 1672 on leak code called Richest Customer Wealth. You are given an N by N integer grid, accounts, where accounts at I at J is the amount of money the Ith customer has in the Jth bank. Return the wealth that the richest customer has. That was a lot of words. I'm going to describe that better to you when we look at the examples. A customer's wealth is the amount of money they have in all their bank accounts. The richest customer is the customer that has the maximum wealth. So this brings a little bit more clarity to the prompt, but let's look at a first example. What exactly do they want us to do? So our first example, our input is this array called accounts. They call it an M by N integer grid here. And what that is, is an array of arrays. So if you look, account is one array, and within it, right now, we have two different arrays. Each array here essentially represents a single customer. So this first inner array represents customer A, and customer A has three different bank accounts. The wealth of those bank accounts is one, two, and three, respectively. So his total wealth is one plus two plus three, which is equal to six. The next customer also has three bank accounts. Their wealth is three plus two plus one. We want to return the wealth of the richest customer. In this case, both of the customers have a wealth of six, so we return the number six. If we look at example two, we have three different customers within our accounts array. The first customer has a wealth of one plus five, which is six. The second customer has a wealth of seven plus three, which is 10. And the third customer has a wealth of three plus five, which is eight. So we return 10 because the second customer, seven plus three, is the richest customer. And then finally, our third input, we have three different customers, each with three different accounts in their name. And those add up to two plus eight plus seven, which is 17, seven plus one plus three, which is 11, and one plus nine plus five, which is 15, the highest of which is 17. And so we return 17. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is create a variable and that's going to store my current maximum wealth amongst this array called accounts. So I'm going to call that max wealth and I'm going to start that off at zero since we know that no one here can have a negative account wealth. Next, what we want to do is start looping through our accounts array. So we'll write our classic for loop, let i equals zero, while i is less than accounts dot length and i plus plus. So what this is going to do is take us through the outer array. And each element inside this outer array is a new array. So what we have to do to find the total wealth within each inner array is loop through those inner arrays one at a time. In order to do that, we have to create what I'm going to call an accumulator inside this first loop that's going to hold the current wealth of each inner array as we add to it. I'll call it current wealth, and that is also going to start at zero. So here is where we start looping through the inner arrays, and j is going to equal zero, while j is less than accounts at i dot length. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to refactor just a little bit 
This is going to add a little extra memory to our solution, but I think it'll make it a lot more readable. I'm going to say account is equal to accounts at i. So we know that each inner array is just called an account. It's a lot easier than saying accounts at i every single time. And as we loop through this, we want to add the current number onto our current wealth. So current wealth plus equals account at j. So that's going to be each individual number within each inner array. And after the loop, we have to check this current total sum of the inner account against our max wealth overall. So what we can say is that max wealth is going to equal a math.max comparing itself and current wealth. So each time this runs, we're going to compare current wealth to max wealth, and whichever one is bigger will become maximum wealth. By the end, we go through everything, and we should have the greatest wealth amongst all of the accounts in the accounts array. So at the end, we can just return max wealth, and that ladies and gentlemen should do it. I will run the code. We got the right answer there. I'll submit and we got it. What we really want to look at is the time complexity of this solution. Some people might say that this is an O of n squared solution because we have a double for loop. I'm not totally convinced that's the case because we're still only going through each element once within the overall array. So I'm inclined to say that this is an O of n solution, maybe an O of n log n. So not as bad as n squared, but not as good as O of n. Um, that's up for discussion. Please, in the comments below, feel free to tell me what you think. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the solution to this problem. Let's walk through it if you want you can feel free to stick around. So with this first solution, we have our accounts array, max wealth starts off at zero, and we go through the accounts array. So account is going to be equal to accounts at i. Accounts at zero is currently this array. One, two, three when i is equal to zero. Current wealth starts off at zero, and into this array we jump write it into the first element, account at zero, because j is now zero, plus current wealth. Account at zero is one, plus current wealth, which is zero. So now current wealth is going to equal one, because zero plus one equals one. Now we go on to the next iteration of the loop, where j is equal to one. So account at one, is equal to two, and we add that on to current wealth. So one plus two is equal to three, and we do it one more time where j is equal to two. So three plus three is equal to six, and we finished our loop, so we check. What is the max between max wealth, which is currently zero, and current wealth, which is currently six. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that six is greater than zero. So we set max wealth equal to six. We go on to the next iteration now of this outer loop. Our new array, our new account is this array right here. That is three, two, one, blast off. Here we go. We reset current wealth equal to zero, and we say j is equal to zero. Account at zero is three, and zero plus three is equal to three. And we go again. j at one is equal to two. Three plus two is equal to five. And final time around, one plus five is equal to six. Now we finished our loop and we check what's greater, maximum wealth, which is currently six, or current wealth, which is also currently six. Well, those are the same number. So max wealth remains at six. And we finished now our outer loop as well because there are only two inner arrays. And so we return six. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you liked the wildlife wild fact, please tell me that in the comments below. If you didn't like the wildlife wild fact, also please tell me that in the comments below. If you have an animal you would like to learn about in the next wildlife wild fact, definitely put that in the comments below. And finally, if you have a leap code problem that you were dying to know the answer to, please, please, please put that in the comment section below. I would love to do problems submitted by you, my friends, and my viewers. That's all I have for you guys today. Happy New Year. It's 2021. Bye-bye.